Greetings and welcome back to the Lake Territory Kitty Pets. My name is Ember Strike. Today we are joined by my good friend Dark or Dark Frost. Say Hailshade. Say hi, Hailshade. And we are also joined by my alternate account or my actually my YouTube account because I was too lazy to log out of my main account. Flower Kit. Say hello, Flower Kit. I have made another Ember Storm kit. This one's just gonna annoy people in Star Clan for funsies. Today we are going to do an easy herb gathering tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna do, I think, Catmin and maybe Marigold. I'm gonna do two in one because Catmin and Marigold are probably the easiest herbs to find in the entire game. So Hale, you and I are gonna teleport over to the horse place or the barn, whichever one you call it. So loners and rogues. L rogues and loners. Alright. Uh, so, catmint is pretty easy. Um, the purposes of catmint in this game have two. One for white cough, um, as seen in the books. And one for chills. If you get chills, you can take catmint and it helps with the chills for some silly reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but it helps, which is great. Also, Hale, if you want to pipe in with any other information, because fun fact, Hale is now in our Discord, and if you're in our Discord, you can join videos and hear my lovely voice as I'm still recording. So you can respond as much as you want, and don't worry, um, in the recordings, your microphones will always be on mute because I have it in... A stage setting, so nobody will be picked up um, by accident or on purpose. So nobody's voice other than mine will be recorded in these videos. But if you want to watch me stream videos live for the YouTube channel, feel free to join. Love to see you there. Anyway, so Catmint, it actually grows close to Two Lake Place. You can find quite a few patches of it over by the barn area. There's one right over here. And then there is one right behind the barn itself. Sitting right there. So there's two patches over there, and then there's one that likes to hide in the trees somewhere. I know that there's a tree spawn... Over, like, just a little bit away from it. I always lose it, though. Do you remember where it is, Hale? The Dark Forest Warrior who is always helping people? Nope, not gonna- okay, fair enough. I mean, that one kind of hides really well and it's hard to find. But I know it spawns at the base of a tree around here. I think it's... Right here. I found it! I knew it was here. This is the only catmint that grows away from the Two Lake place. And below a tree. It's kind of weird. You're also never over here, unless it's for the tunnels. That makes sense. Um, tunnel video coming whenever I figure out a fun little puzzle for you guys to do to figure out how to get to the tunnels. Because you guys have to find your way and you can't have Moon help you. By the way, fun fact, Moon has, uh, you know, they're busy right now, so they're not in this call. And it's a rare coincidence, or a rare occasion where Moon is not on. And... Well, it's kind of weird because I had like 10 hundred million technical difficulties before starting this. So that was fun. Also, Hale, I'm going to go over to Shadow Clan territory next if you want to find the Catmen over there too. And then we'll do Thunder Clans after that. Alright. So here is my favorite clan. You'll see me always in here. I say it in every video, yet I can't find all the sticks for it. But the catmint that spawns in um, Shadow Clan is also by the Two Lake Place. This is where the kitty pets um, normally roleplay. That's Bird Dog Group. Um, the kitty pets normally roleplay over here. But the catmint for them over here is right here next to these tansies. Tansies can also be used for coughing issues. You know, like if your cat has a cough that's not white cough. Also, fun fact, um, because that just reminded me. Um, 
White Cough is also bugged in this game. So if you heal your White Cough and you notice you have a Perma Cough, um, just go into roleplay mode and then get out of roleplay mode again. It'll usually fix what's going on with your cough. Okay, I boosted your speed. So you should be walking a little faster now. Hey, Tag Clan! Tag Clan strikes again! Nobody likes Tag Clan, everybody likes Lag Clan, because at least if you're lagging, then you don't have to worry about the tags. But at the same time, I don't like Tag either, or Lag either. Here's another Catmint patch right over here. <laughs> tag Clan has you just at their mercy right now, Hailshade. So much Tag Clan. So much Tag Clan. Tag Star, leader of Tag Clan, has officially just, you know, eaten Hail Shade's chat. Can't complain about tags without getting tagged. <laughs> Can't complain about Tag Clan without being getting tagged. Yep, that sounds about right. Yep, we are always in misery with Tag Clan taking over Lag Clan's territory. Anyway, there's a cat pitment patch right here, and then there's a couple more behind the the two leg nest. There is one right next to these tansies, just slightly underneath this little. Uh, staircase. It kind of hides, but it's right here. And you also kind of phase through the stairs. That's fun. I'm trying to think of this. There's any more. I think there's only three spawns in Shadow Clan. All right, what's going on, um, Lag Clan members? This is Future Ember Strike, Editor Ember Strike, whatever you want to call her. Um, anyway, I am back to say that I actually missed two spawns in Shadow Clan, and I've already had to re-record this bit, like, three times. The first time I forgot to plug my headphones in, the second time I forgot to make sure the microphone was on when I plugged my headphones in, and now this time, hopefully everything's running fine. As I said, since Moon wasn't in the last recording, I've had all the technical difficulties, so Moon's definitely the good luck charm there. They're the good luck charm for the server to not just die on me. Anyway, so the last two catmint spawns that I missed are right here. As you can see, it's underneath Ember's paw, or as you can't see because it's kind of hiding underneath a bush, and you can't really collect it unless you kind of finesse your camera to where the, you know, it's on the ground and you can see the gather catmint toggle. Basically just to gather it, you hold down V and you can collect it. And then there is another one that's also kind of hidden really well underneath the two-leg nest, under these stairs. And again, you just gotta kind of mess with the camera to try and get the toggle to show up, like, right. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to do. Kind of right there-ish. Wait, no, I don't have it yet. Wait, there-ish. It's kind of, it's kind of a difficult you know, catmint patch to gather. So, I kinda lied, and I'm sorry that I lied, I'm sorry that I kinda didn't recount or check, double-check my own, you know, recording. But there's actually th uh, five spawns in Shadow Clan, four in Thunder Clan, and two at the Rogues and the Loners. So, anyway, thank you for listening, I'm sorry that I didn't, you know, know that off the top of my head, I was kinda just trying to make a fast video to get it out on time because I want to get Warrior Cats, Lake Territory, or Pokemon Nuzlocks down on Mondays because, you know, they're a little more taxing to ta um, edit out, stuff like that. But, um, I didn't make it. As you can see, it's probably Tuesday or Wednesday when this goes up, but anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, anyway, back to the regular video. Bye-bye. Alright, so we're gonna go to the abandoned two lake nest next. Because there's only three spawns of Catmint over by Shadow Clan territory. As I chase the Dark Forest Warrior across the forest. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright. 
so the next patches of Catmint. Zoo. Tag clan again. <laughs> I don't know why you can't say Zoom anymore. It's so dumb that they started tagging the word Zoom. Like, I can't even say I'm Zooming or uh, my cat has a Zoomies. It makes no sense. Anyway, uh, there's some cat mint over this way. Right here. It kind of hides behind these uh, little bushes. And then there's another one right here. Again, behind the bushes. Sh um, ThunderClan has a little more spawns, but it's also a little harder to spot due to the fact that they're uh, kind of hidden behind the bushes. So there's three right here. Wait, is there two in one spot? I could have sworn I saw two toggles. No, that's just a chamomile. So there's another one right over there. So next to the stairs again. I think there's one more just around this corner. Yep, right here. So there's four spawns for Thunder Clan. And then River Clan and Wind Clan seem to share a uh, a spawn for Catmint. Um, this is the Thunder Clan spawn, and the Shadow Clan spawn is. Uh... Wait, did I say River Clan and Shadow Clan? River Clan and Wind Clan share a spawn. Shadow Clan has its own spawn with the Kitty Pet Nest, and then Thunder Clan has these spawns. So there's four over by Wind Clan. There's four in Thunder Clan and three in Shadow Clan. So that's all the spawns for Catmint. But since the video isn't even that long, we're gonna go and do a quick thing of Marigold, which Marigold spawns everywhere in this game. <laughs> oh, I did say it right the first time. Awesome. Thank you, Hail Shade. We're gonna be over by the the river little spoon part of the river for the moon pool because there's like a marigold spawn right here. Marigold is the most common. I feel like it is the most common um, herb in this game as it spawns and when it spawns you get a lot of it. I think you get one uh, two I'm just seeing how many spawn on a marigold patch three I think you get four spawns per patch. Because it stops allowing you to pick at three left in that patch. Yeah, so it you can get four per, pa per patch. So there's one right over here. There's one where Hale is standing. Thank you for standing over there patiently. There is one right over here. Uh, there's another one right down here. I'm just going to go through the ones that are just in the territories. I'm not going to go through Shadow Clan, River Clan. Just because it's so easy to spot and it's so easy to find that it's just, you know, it's very common. You can run and run across at least three or four spawns of Marigold. Like, there's one right across the, the stream over in Wind Clan, right over here. Or there's one just over this hill. Right over there in Wind Clan territory. And there's another spawn of it right over here in Thunder Clan next to the river. I feel like they spawn close to the rivers. I think they spawn close to the rivers and the streams because it looks like there's another one right here. And then there's two right across the lake. You can see them right over there. So if you ever find a body of water and you're looking for Marigold, just walk around the body of water. I'm sure you'll find it pretty easy because it looks like it spawns next to water. I just noticed that. I've played this game before. Because, you know, spawning next to water seems like a fun idea. Alright, and these are tansies over here. But, um, basically, if you want to know what it looks like, I'll get a zoom in on this one right here. It is... A white puffy flower, or a yellow puffy flower, sort of. I can't speak today. A yellow puffy flower that spawns next to water. You can find it pretty easily. And I think I'm lagging. Yep, I am the member of Lag Clan now. I have a 17k ping. That's fun. I love being in Lag Clan. 
So here's another spawn over here. Where did you go, Hale? There are some Marigold next to this, uh, the River Clan. Uh, this isn't River Clan Ninja. This is Shadow Clan. Shadow Clan, Thunder Clan, River Stream. Then we got another one over on the Thunder Clan side. Basically, if you're just running around a, um, next to Water Source, you will find it. And it seems like Marigold's a little more common in. You would think it would be River Clan, but it's kind of more common in Shadow Clan because I found more spawns of it over here, thanks to the little swampland area. I know there's a spawn right inside, right outside camp next to that frog pond. So, right here. Right there. Because I'm a, I'm a filthy shadow clanner. I stand up for this clan when people say that it's evil. Shadow clan's evil. Me? No, it's not. It's not always evil. Tiger Star 2 is actually doing a pretty good job in my opinion. Oh, here's another Marigold patch right here. Your opinion. Tiger Star do too. He doing a good job? Yeah. Tiger Heart Star is amazing in my opinion. I think he's a good leader. But that's my silly opinion. I might actually do a video on Tiger Heart Star. Actually, should I do the video of Tiger Heart Star before Grey Wing for Warriors Wednesdays? Just because I have more information on Tiger Heart Star than I do of Grey Wing right at this moment, I would have to reread Dawn of the Clans. Yeah, same. I feel like that's the closest to Ember Star we could ever have. Like, Ember Star wants to be a good leader, but at the same time, he kinda puts uh, Rose Fern first, and it pulls him down as a leader in general sometimes. Because, why not have a compli complex character? You know? Sounds like a fun time. Okay, maybe I lied, and Shadow Clan doesn't have as many Marigold Patch spawns as I thought they did. Ninja lying? Ah, oh, that never happens. Or Cinda, or whatever you guys want to call me, Ember. I go by many nicknames. Yes, we need more complex characters. Aaron Hunter, let us have more complex characters, please. Like, I want more characters that have to go through an arc. Alright, go on to River Clan now. Alright, here's some River Clan spawns for Marigold. There's one right over here. Again, it spawns really close to water. Like, right next to water every single time. Ignore me. I went the wrong way. Here's another patch over here. Again, the best places to find it is always by a water. Water source is the best place to find Marigold. And Marigold can be used for a couple of things. It uh, can be chewed up into a poultice to get rid of uh, infected wounds. It can also help you heal your um, scratches and cuts in the game because survival mode exists. Actually, I'm going to go into survival mode real quick. Okay, there we go. It worked. Okay, as you can see, I have a scratch now thanks to my own kit. Um, it didn't show up because the game is kind of bugging. And sometimes, you know, scratches don't appear. But you can use uh, Marigold to heal scratches if you're in survival mode. All you gotta do... Yeah, it also works on broken bones. Yeah, if you want to, just uh, feel free to jump into the Thunder Clan and then come back over here and I'll show you how it heals broken bones. I can wait a sec. Alright, Marigold can be used for many different purposes. The Poultice can get you um, get rid of your infected wounds, scratches, and even broken bones. If uh, Hailshade would like to use the Poultice, I should have given him. I'm not sure if it spawned into the ground because that's a fun bug. Um... I'd be more than happy to show you how it works. Did it fall into the ground, Hale? Because I don't see it on you. That's also a bug. Sometimes it just doesn't appear in the other cat's jaws. Oh, okay. Here, you can have mine then. So basically what you do is you just chew it up into a poultice. I accidentally clicked to drop. So, 
as you can see, uh, Hail Shade is chewing it up into a poultice. Ryu gathered it, and they're going to apply it to themselves. Fun fact about that, and then you can see he's walking normal, or they're walking normal again. What, hey, Hail, what kind of pronouns do you want me to use when I have you in videos? I would like to know so I'm not misgendering people. He, him is fine. Gotcha. Thank you. As you can see, he used his uh, poultice, and now he's walking normal without having, you know, his paw in the air. Um, I, I'm walking normal, too, because my game is bugged, but, you know, when you break your bone, you kind of just start walking slow. Anyway, so, chew it up into a poultice. I'm probably going to annoy a lot of people by how I say poultice, moon included. And as you can see, the scratches have disappeared, the broken bone disappeared, and the infection disappeared, and my paw is now on the ground like normal. And you can run again. I go run. I go zoom, because you can't say zoom. And there are many spawns for Marigold in this game. It's one of the more common ones. I don't know. I had people tell me it's Poltice. I've had people tell me it's something else that I forgot how to pronounce. I always pronounce it as Poultice. People say Poltice. People say Poltice. I didn't know how they pronounce it. It was kind of a weird one. Yeah, Poltice sounds weird. I don't know. H how do you pronounce it in the comments below? And, uh... Let me know how I'm mispronouncing it in the comments below, because comments help the uh, YouTube algorithm. And I want some more subscribers. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to have more people in the Lag Clan chat. You know, in the Discord. Which, link to the Discord is in the description below. Shameless plugging time. There's another Marigold patch right here. And then, if you ever want to get rid of a cough, because I don't like having coughs, just gather some tansies. They kind of look like marigold and eat them. But again, disclaimer, if you are in a clan that has a medicine cat, and you are not feeling good because you're in survival and you're scratched, your boat is broken, whatever, please include the medicine cat in your roleplay. It is not fun when you're playing as a medicine cat and nobody's interacting with you. It's just not fun. There's a patch right over here. And then... There's gonna be another patch... Right over here, next to this bit of water right here. Another patch of Marigold. This is a Wind Clan spawn. It's right next to this bridge. Basically, if you're following the river, the lake, or anything else, you'll find Marigold really easy. That was three. I feel like I know two more spawns that I didn't cover. I'm stuck under a tree branch. And under the water, I was dying like a uh, flame tail. Except I didn't fall through the ice. Flame tail ice hockey stick. <laughs> that would be a horrible idea for a merch design from the um from the Aaron Hunters. Okay, maybe it was just two spawns. Alright. Those are Tansies. Tansies and Marigold do look a lot alike. Only difference between Tansy and Marigold is Marigold spawns near water. That's about it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end it off right there. I'm running back into RiverClan camp so Hale can say goodbye to you as well. But if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um... Yeah, <laughs> flame tail ice hockey stick needs to be a thing now. <laughs> what about Cinderpelt Hot Wheels car? My brain is has been in the darkness for a while now because of that bright heart mug and I saw a tweet about that. Get over here. Alright, I'm gonna have Flower Kit run over here real quick. Longtail rabbit dinner. <laughs> Firestar bonsai tree. Alrighty. Anyway.
anyway, I'm going to end it off right there. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how I can improve in the comment section down below. Um, and if you made it this far or followed one of Moon's lovely timestamps, I do appreciate you checking out the video anyway. So, thank you again. Hailshade and Flower Kit, feel free to say goodbye to the audience. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever you're at, whenever you're watching this video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.